Welcome back to Power Your Life. I'm your host, Joanne White. Next up, we're hitting the runway. How many nights have you thought, what am I going to wear tomorrow? Let fashion designer Chrissy Phillips help with that. With 15 years in the industry, this spunky designer creates fashions that are ideal for the office, but with a flair. I can't wait to see your clothing line, Chrissy. How are you? Hi, Joanne. How are you? Good. I hear you have this gala palette coming up in on February 8th. Yes, I do. Uh, this is my annual fashion show, 14th annual fashion show, where I'll be showing my fall 2014 collection. Um, it's also a fundraiser for a young audience of uh, New Jersey and Eastern Pennsylvania. Uh, we, they, we have the same mission, same vision uh, about children. Um, they like to enhance a child's learning through the arts. Arts, so it's arts and education, which, Absolutely. which is a great combination. Mm -hmm. And you also have a boot camp for, for kids during the summertime, too, right? Yes, ages from 11 to about 17, and we teach them every aspect about fashion. So um, no experience is needed. They learn everything. My four years of college in three weeks for these young kids. That's pretty amazing. <laughs> yeah. And I'm going to be at, the, at your fashion show, your Absolutely. extravaganza, on February 8th. I'm excited about that. You got your dancing shoes? Do I need them? Yes. All right. I'll, I'll bring them. <laughs> okay. I'll wear them. I'll bring them. So you have such intricate and such beautiful designs for the office, and you actually have something that is just so chic. And I, I want to see it because sometimes I had some stodgy clothes going on when I was actually in corporate in terms of real business suits or whatever. But you have a totally new look. So talk well, about that a little bit. I like uh, my design aesthetic is timeless beauty with a little flair. So one of my uh, lines is executive chic. Well, I design executive chic, special occasion, and bridal. So um, my executive chic line is more um, business wear with a flair or a little edge to it. Because um, you don't have to look like a man, you know, to be in, right. in the corporate world, you know. So now that dresses are coming back and there's no more dress down Friday, so it probably is, but you know, people still uh, get dressed up. So um, I like to play on that. And that style has been changing for several years, so it's not so formal at the office. It's about really showing showing off your femininity too. So Absolutely, it's, so it's with great. power, but you still... Right, yeah, right, exactly. Still with the power. <laughs> so let's see what you have in store for us with your line. Sure, first right here we have Natasha. So this is part of the Executive Chic line. She's wearing a gray lace overlay with a deep maroon belt. We have a men's suiting for the bottom half and we have a overlay um, flounce. Very beautiful. Mm -hmm. So that's something she could wear at the office? Right. And then also sometimes there might be a uh, dinner, a business dinner that you have afterwards, and you're still appropriate, but a right. little looser. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Right. Beautiful. And she could actually add some different jewelry or whatever to dress it up, right? Right. Or, or dress it down, make it a little more formal. You could change it to a sequence belt. Um, you can also change the heels, um, change out of the, your nude platform, and you can uh, put on like more of a sequence uh, or stiletto heel. <laughs> so you know what it also does? It helps women save money too because if they can wear something both evening and, and daytime and just dress it up, it has a totally different look. That's I love great. transitional clothing. I love it. Great. Thank you, Natasha. Thank you. Okay. Next we have Kenyatta. One of the aspects of my business, ah. I create fabric. So I marbleize fabric. So this is Kenyatta. So we have um, a aqua, aquamarine uh, print that I did and um, I do it by hand um, and then I add it just a little bit of a sequence to transition also to give it a little more flair. So how do you get that marbleized look? It's a secret. Oh okay we're not giving away <laughs> secrets. Okay good. All right don't tell us. No actually at my fashion show <laughs> at my fashion show we have uh, a friend of mine makes paper and marbleizes paper. So he's coming and he's going to have my guest make scarves at the fashion show so you can see. Oh, that's lots of fun. Mm -hmm. Great, mm -hmm. thanks. Thank you, Kenyatta. Mm -hmm. Next we have Janelle. Uh, this is my special occasion. Wow, okay. beautiful. So this is, this is simplistic but yet a little elegant. Uh, we have um, the flounce that goes, cascades all the way down the front, the waterfalls down the front with a large bow because I like a little bit of dramatic to, dr drama to the, um, my special occasion outfits. But still, to be timeless, she can wear this for many years. I even wore it with a pair of denim jeans over top with a killer boot. Yeah. 
Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> you also have a men's line too. Thank you. Men's right. neckwear. I do men's neckwear because that's how ties that bind. Right. And that's how men show their creativity. They can wear the same suit every day of the week. No woman knows the difference, but if she changes her tie, if he changes his tie, then that shows his personality. So. And we're paying attention too, right? Exactly. <laughs> so tell us what else is in store with your line and with your design. Well, you will see on February 8th my uh, Executive Chic special occasion in bridal. Uh, we have, it's a fun-filled evening. I was so fortunate to have Nissan of Turnersville be one of the sponsors. Oh, wow. yeah. We have Colleen's catering, we have a four-course meal, we have dancing, we have uh, vendors and uh, silent auction area, so it's a really fun evening. Sounds wonderful, and I'll be there, so it's wonderful. And thanks so much for, for the, actually what you do, and it's beautiful, and so are the models, and so are you. Thank you, thank you, so are you. Thank you. <laughs> Coming up, we're getting jazzed with singer-songwriter Marcus Goldhaber. Stay with us. <laughs>